Aloha, it's Kim Jolene with Finding Your Fiji and I'm super excited to bring your Feng Shui Friday to you today. We are starting a new series and this series is going to be all about doors. You are going to be so amazed and surprised at how many different things can be happening with doors in your home because I have at least um, a series of nine videos about doors that are going to be coming up through here. So doors are really super important in feng shui and the reason they're important is because doors represent the voice of adults in the home. And of course we want to be able to be heard. So there's a number of things that door issues can cause. Door issues can cause arguing. They can cause um, complaining, confusion, you know, indecisiveness. They can cause voices to be silent where you're not speaking up, right? Doors can cause blocked energy, um, money going out the door, right? Um, literally going out the door. It can cause, uh, door issues can cause relationship conflict. Um, a slanted vision of yourself or your life. And of course, as we've talked about with the front door previously, opportunities to be limited. So if you haven't watched the couple videos on the front door, I'm going to put links to those below so you can go back and watch those as well because the front door is where all the energy comes into your space. It's the mouth of chi as we call it and she being energy. So that is definitely something that you want to take a look at if you haven't watched that yet. So I'll put the links below. So over the next several weeks, I am going to be addressing um, the multitude of potential door issues that may be happening in your home and sharing with you the feng shui remedies, the things that you'll do to fix that door issue and that particular issue that it relates to in your life. So when you have door issues that are coming up, I encourage you to take a look at what area of the Bagua is the door in. So this Bagua is based on the front door. The Bagua is a mental map of your space. And again, there's a video, uh, a link to the video before below that has the explanation of the Bagua and what is feng shui if you haven't watched that yet. But this is our Bagua and it is based on the front door being somewhere along this line or at least uh, uh, facing this particular direction. And then it lays out as so. So the wealth corner is always going to be the back left. Partnership will always be back right and health is always in the center. So when you discover a door that has a particular um, issue or problem in your home, take a look and see where does it fall. And how does that correlate to what's been happening in your life, right? So that's the reason, you know, we like to look at the Bagua based on what is happening with doors as well. So this is part one of doors. And I'm going to be talking today just in general about some of the things to check for with the regular doors. And doors will be um, inclusive of closet doors. Um, bedroom doors, doors that lead to the outside, basement doors, any type of doors in your home. So I'm not talking about cabinets, but I am talking about physical doors that you maybe go in and out of or you move through. And what we want to do this week is check all of the doors in your home. Can they open fully? If there are doors that cannot open fully, your voice may be, you know, quieted or your voice may be not able to be heard, right? So we want to make sure, we talked about this with the front door, but we want to make sure that all the doors can open fully. So we don't want to be storing things behind doors because that's actually kind of squelching our voice when we do that. So we want to make sure the doors can open fully that they're moving nice and easily, they're not squeaking because of course that squeaking door can lead um, and correlate to complaining by the adults in the home or you know the whining type of thing, right? So can they open fully? If you have like a closet door, does it, does it move smoothly on the track? You wanna make sure that it's moving smoothly because you want your voice and your words 
to flow with ease, right? We want, want them to be able to flow easily. And then, you know, anything that's squeaking, of course, get out some WD-40 or whatever you might use to actually oil those doors so that it calms down the complaining or the whining that might be occurring. So that is your feng shui tip for this week. And this is part one of doors. Stay tuned because I've got an amazing special for you that runs through the end of May. So check out the next video for that. And stay tuned for next Friday when we will be talking more about doors. Much love to you. Aloha again, it's Kim Jelena with Finding Your Fiji and I'm so excited to share with you the Feng Shui special that I have for this month. It's actually going to run through the end of May. So since I'm starting at mid-April, I decided to run it through the end of May. And the special is for a quick shift feng shui consult, or and that would be for a home, or uh, an introductory feng shui consultation for your business. So what does this entail? You actually receive an accurate bagua or a mental map of your space. So you're going to know exactly where the different areas in your life or your business correlate to your space. So that's a really valuable tool that you'll be able to use for the rest of the time that you are in that particular space. Really super valuable. Then I am going to do a floor plan analysis for you. So I will take a look and see where are the trouble spots. Where do you have money that's leaking out of your home? Uh, where are there things that may be causing health issues? Uh, where do you have uh, some issues per chance with relationships and what's going on there? We don't get a deep dive into the relationship piece in this one, but it's a really good start. And then you will receive a prioritize adjustments. So I will let you know kind of the order in which to do things. And uh, I will also give you the three secrets of reinforcement, which is really a way to boost the power of the adjustments that you'll be making with feng shui. So an amazing, amazing way to shift the energy in your space and in your life very quickly. These things work very, very quickly. So I'm super excited to share that with you. Normally these consultations are $350. Now for um, between now and the end of May, they will be only $297. So really, really good deal. We'll have a 45 minute consultation over the phone. So I have some pre-work that I do ahead of time. Then we'll hop on the phone and we'll talk about what's going on for 45 minutes and you will get those prioritized adjustments and your accurate Bagua as well. And then anything that comes up, sometimes there's special adjustments that are, are coming through and then I will also provide those to you as well. So super, really valuable for only $2.97 for this month and through the end of May. The coupon code for this particular discount is going to be May 2018. So May 2018 will be the coupon code and that will work for either the business consultation or the home consultation. Super excited to work with you guys and can't wait to help you shift what's happening in your space and in your life.